Anyhow, I'm some Pius the Opera Fence, and welcome to watch Zoe e Sport Class. In this episode, I will show you how to become a good opera in CS2. So the most important, like the default position for the opera on the on Mirage is obviously the window. And it is just because uh, as an opera it's good to play rotation, right? So you can support your team and just move around the map. So now I'm gonna explain a bit uh, how to play the op on Mirage, how to move, how to support your, your team and how to actually uh, utilize uh, the spawns. So for example, we have here the best spawns, right? Uh, most likely you can start window and just hope that if they swing with, uh, with the top, with the insta window smoke or something, you can catch them right while crossing boxes. But obviously as an opera, if you have a good spawn, you can always use it, right? So take the freedom to jump window, to jump to shore, jump to, jump to ladder, jump everywhere you want, even connector, and try to get a good entry, for example, a good shot, while the t side is trying to get uh, uh, middle is good. Obviously, when you do these moves, you, will, you would like to uh, have some help. For example, if you want to jump at window, it's quite important that your A player uh, flashes out middle, right? So he flashes out, so you have time to, if you jump short and the t swing middle, or you jump connector, you will try to use, uh, do not die instantly, right? So you have some time to pick up, the, take the op out, hold, and if they pick, try to get a kill. Then uh, about the moving part with the op, obviously starting window, I would say, is not the best option, so all, all, always as an opener, unless uh, you have a, a good reason for it. For example, you can always like have a good line as for molotovs if the T is a smoke window, so it's really easy for you to aim here, move here, and throw out boxes, uh, Molotov, and then you can do whatever play, you can hold the jabs, you can play around connector, top con area with a, with a smoke here, just holding catwalk. You can always also, like, you go stairs, take a peek, a shoot on ground, right? And then in late round, I would always recommend to move to the side. Like, I would recommend you to try to go tickets, so you are with your A player, your rifle should get closer, like for example shadow, or balcony, or even default, whatever position is going to be good. So you are like uh, in a good spot for the upper, so if they split A or if they try to hit you, you are in a good spot, so you can just take some suits before dying or letting the T's plant the bomb, right? Other things I would say when you are an upper, if you want to switch a position, like if you want to, if you're on freestyle, you want to take a peek on, on B ups, for example, you can always like move towards B, tell your rifle from B, like you can start window or something, or even push you on B. So you can always like come B, just do a Molotov, you jump spots and they are not rushing you, and then you go up and you can take a good, a good position with the op, which is this. This is going to allow your team to play like, um, more towards A, right? Like four people, like maybe one short and three guys on A. So this is gonna be really good for your team because B is like locked with the op, right? You can always like start B ups and you have really good roots here with the op. They pop B, you have one shot here. You can drop down, have one more shot here. Shots here, shot here. And even if, the, if you miss, it's fine because you can always escape, right? You miss a shot, you can always like play even retake. You fall back to kitchen. You wait for your team to back up you, and then you just try the, to play the postman situation. Now I'm gonna explain the best spots for the opera on nuke. The first spot and, most, and, mo and the most common one is just guards, right? You come here, and you try to just lock down outside, right? So the T's cannot go secret. This is a really good spot. This one and obviously sandwich also is really good. They are both like quite similar. Then the Another good position to start is just heaven, you start compact, you try to support your your teammates on inner position, you try to just do not let the, the T side rush your inner. And the, yeah, these two spots are the most default for the upper. Obviously, I would recommend, on general, if you have a good spawn to play out, uh, to go outside or or main, use it, right? You can pick come main and pick door, you can come red and have outside control instantly. Can even rush outside to go here, to go sideward, just by doing a, a smoke here and a flash, it's gonna be really easy for you to get to these positions, right? So yeah, playing aggressive on nuke is also good with the op. And the other part I recommend you sometimes is starting directly secret from drum, or just playing drum. This is gonna give uh, you and your team a really good, uh, uh, how do I explain it? A really good uh, position with your op 
so they have a lot of freedom with the rifles. So yeah, I think those are the most important uh, locations for your for the open this map. Now I'm gonna explain how to play the open, the key positions for the upper <coughs> on ancient city side. Okay. So first of all, uh, they changed all the spawns for CS2, so it's gonna be different now. <coughs> I think the upper can go for more peaks, like mid peaks, ag aggressive peaks, right? But overall, I would say the best positions for the upper are the sides A and B mainly. So starting B, obviously you can start, I would say, here. The best position to start is short, deal low with the up, and long. And when you start long, you can hold here the push for the T side upper, or you can just get a flash here, and just pick deeper. These are the good spots for the upper on B, at the start of the round. In mid run, it's really good also to come cave, play this angle maybe, play also maybe this angle. Whatever angle is good in here for the up, just try to catch the T sides, uh, just try to open up the map, try to kill them while, while they are doing a default. The other thing you can do with the op is obviously start window and just support your rifle middle, which is uh, doing a molotov and maybe a smoke if they don't smoke window fast, trying to just uh, give your rifle a lot of space in middle is going to be also good. <clears throat> and the other position, and I would say this is also like the typical one in this map for the op, is going to be A. You can go for an aggressive pick if you have a good spawn or just play safe angles when you can actually just get a shoot or maybe get more shots. Here, Xbox also, try to get a suit. You can always escape, play tempo. And obviously, if you think that they are not coming A, just throwing a nade on A after in mid round. And rotating your AVP towards Donut is gonna be good in mid round. So, playing Donut also with the OP in mid round is really, really, really strong. So, I recommend you to try to get these positions with your OP. Try to also understand where did you have impact the last round so you can uh, reposition your OP yourself with the op to another part of the map so you are more unpredictable so that's it well first of all i'm gonna talk now about my uh, my routines my practices how i practice and everything so first of all i stay fresh i have a good um, how do you say it? i have a, a proper food uh, times to eat and a good schedule to wake up and everything like this right but the in terms of inside the game i I mainly don't play too much, I don't overplay the game. My normal routine is like DM or use bots for 20 minutes every day uh, when I wake up and after breakfast and everything, right? Then I just try, I also like to uh, watch some demos about other, other teams, how they approach the game to learn, right? Uh, yeah, that's it, that's mainly my, my routine. Is, uh, some bots, some uh, DM to warm up my op. I do like a uh, I do like to play more rifle in DM and bots, and then I just move a bit with the op, shoot a bit, but I don't play too much the op in DM. Just uh, AK, maybe Deagle, M4 also. And about the routines, I think like uh, it has changed a lot for the last years. I try to adjust it so I don't get, I do, I do not get uh, burned by doing them. And yeah, just to, because the most important part is just to have fun while playing, right? So try to adjust the routine so it fits the best for you, uh, so you can, you know, feel it good, like play, play good, uh, feel the game, be intuitive while playing. So yeah, I think that's the most important things. I adjusted my my routines over the years so I can feel like uh, good when I do them, right? So I don't feel like I'm doing the same, exactly same mm, every month. But yeah, that's it. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna show you my launch commands. Um, as you can see, it is like I don't like to watch the beat, <laughs> but these are my launch commands of CS:GO. But I will just keep them for CS2 right now. Yeah, I have put the T grade. I don't know if it's gonna work actually on CS2 yet, but I hope they will fix it. Uh, I like to play with the 240 Hz instead of the 360 because I I prefer personally to watch the game a bit worse. And yeah, these are my commands. Uh, interpret on one also, and yeah. That's it. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how I set up my in-game settings and the monitor settings also. I'm gonna start with the monitor settings. So first of all, um, the mode, I, I use the standard mode. Then I remove the Dayak. I think I don't like it too much, but uh, some other pro players, they use it. Then after putting the standard and removing the Dayak, I will go with the colors. I use black equalizer on 10. I put color vibrance on 12. 
no blue light. I play with gamma 2 and use normal color temperature. And then when, when we move to picture, I use 80 on brightness, 60 on contrast, 5 on sharpness, and premium NAMA. I don't touch anything else. And now for the in-game settings, I like to play with the 4, uh, yeah, 4, 3, 1024, uh, X768. I normally use this because I like to play with plug bars on NVIDIA settings. So yeah, on the refresh rate, I use uh, 240 hertz, so that's it. And on advanced video, I disable boost play and contrast. And mainly I just leave everything hide for, for CS2. And I use uh, 8X MSAA and bilinear on texture filter mode. So yeah, these are my in-game settings. Well, now I'm gonna show you the things I have put on my keyboard, the binds. I use the the grenades in different uh, binds so I can just take the nades faster. Then I use the scroll down to to jump. And uh, yeah, my sen my sensitivity is, is uh, 1.9 on 400 uh, dpi and my zoom sen sensitivity for the upper is uh, 0.9 so first of all in terms of like uh, setting up your your like your settings right you just need to uh, find out what is the best for you what is uh, what what with what you feel the most comfortable with and just play with it right don't change too much because it's, this is going to make you inconsistent because I like to play black bars, right? I try to put the best things on, on black bars and yeah, I just uh, try to you not change too much daily, like I don't change my... Just try to adjust, try to be like comfortable in what you are, in the settings you have. So that is important. I have been playing with black bars and with these settings for more than two years. So yeah, that's the main point. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. And please keep following this series. They will make you play like a pro.